Oh, she's bowing up on me right now. I didn't mean it like that, as in like, I don't think you're beautiful. I mean, because I'm sure you, you're beautiful. I mean, you're beautiful on the inside. That's good. Beautiful on the inside. You're treading on thin ice. What I meant to say was, I'm afraid if I were to call you beautiful, my wife might get jealous. Well, now, I understand that. And listen, speaking of that, let me tell you something. You look just like my fifth husband. Your fifth husband? Yes. How many times have you been married? Four. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Hide the children's eyes right now. Hide their eyes. I'm starving my life. It's pretty obvious what this lady needs. More support. There's something else for age. I know that. Listen, honey, I don't let age get me down. If it did, I couldn't get back up. <laughs> you got to do us all a favor right this minute. Oh, what's that? Stand still. <laughs> I could try. All right, tell us about these four husbands. Oh, Lord, if I can remember, let's see. My first husband, he was a banker. A banker. Second husband was a circus entertainer. Come on. Third husband was a preacher. Fourth husband, funeral director. So that's four husbands, and that's four very diverse careers. That's right. I'm here one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready, and four to go. Whoa. <laughs> she keeps swinging around like this. She's going to hurt somebody in the front row. Oh, stop it. Now, you say you're from Florida. Now, that's a sunshine state. That's right. I live in a big retirement trailer park down there. Sounds exciting. Listen, I'm the activities director for the entire park. Now, wait a second. Bubba said that's a huge park. It is huge. And you are over all activities. You got it, honey. Well, as scary as that is, I got to know. <laughs> what kind of activities do you do? Listen, I keep them busy. Good. We do crafts. We play bingo. May 22! <laughs> First of all, what just happened? That's what happens in Florida. And then the one guy's on a delayed bingo over there. He had to double check his car. <laughs> what in the world's going on? Do you understand? These people just hollered out bingos? Yeah. Does that mean, does that, I mean, is that something throws it off there a little bit for you? Do you understand we didn't pass out any bingo cards? Oh, well listen, when you're a professional bingo caller like I am, right. don't need bingo cards. Really? I'll get a bingo wherever I go. Would yeah. you try to get May 22! That is crazy. There you go. You think that's something y'all hear at Walmart and I start calling numbers out. <laughs> bingo start popping off everywhere. Bingo, bingo. I'm telling you, when you walk in that bingo hall down here in Florida, that activity center, though, I bet a hush comes over the room. I bet you're like a bingo calling icon. You walk in and a hush. And people just point and stare. And they say, we love it. We love it when she's here to call the bingo games. Yes, we do. Listen, honey, let me tell you something. When I walk in that bingo bar in Florida, there is a hush of the crowd. It's like I'm a bingo calling icon walking in there, honey. People start pointing to me and they say, we love it. We love it when she calls the game. Yes, we do. That's what they say when I'm going. I just say it. love it. I just said that. And no, I just said that. I didn't hear me just say no, that. I'm not going to argue you didn't say it. You yes, said it. what I said. said it after me, which means you're no, a repeater. No, see, honey, I said it. Then you heard me say it. Now you think that you said it. That means you think you're a repeater. You think that you heard me okay? say that. But I said it. You know what? I'm not going to stand here and argue with you because I bet we can agree on one thing. They, they love it when I call the bingo games. And let me ask you this. Y'all do anything else? Oh, yeah, sure. We have aerobic classes. <laughs> Anybody else just get a visual of that? <laughs> Listen, I took that class one time. One time. For two hours I was in there pushing and a pulling, twisting and a turning, jumping up and down, rolling back and forth. That had to be some kind of workout. When I finally got my leotard on, the class was over. <laughs> Wasting my time going in there. I told myself, I said, Seth, we get out of here, we're not coming back. Seth said, thank goodness, because I wore out. I said, that was it. We didn't come I'm glad y'all agreed on that. We were done. 
But now listen, once a month, I do plan a special event. It's the most favorite thing I do down there. It will pack the building out every month. You got to tell me, what is it? We have club dance night. <laughs> I thought you said club dance night. Bingo! <laughs> what kind of dancing could you possibly do? Stuff like this right here. See, they got back there on the steel guitar. Larry? That's Larry. That's Larry. Bubba said he wanted me to meet Larry. Well, hey, I can introduce you. Want to know why? why? That guy is my new best friend. Oh. Yeah, you want to know why? Why? Because he said, ooh, look at her. She keeps dancing like that, and I'm going to be her fifth husband. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he said. And he said at y'all's reception, because he's a dancer too, he said, y'all gonna dance at night away. He said, only thing I gotta do is teach her some of them new modern dances so she don't get out here and just embarrass me with all that old school whipping name That's what he said. That's what he said. Yeah, because he's a Sevier County Flossin champion. Take people for their word anymore, can you? If he's a champion, I'd hate to see the rest of the contestants who are competing against. Oh, he told me he was the only contestant. Oh, that explains everything. But you know what? I wasn't going to knock it because he'd make a better fifth husband for you than I would. Now, let me ask you something. He says you was going to teach me some Well, I mean, you need to ask him that. Did you say you were going to teach me some dance? Let me tell you. If that little gray squirrel gets out on the dance floor with me, he's going to get taught, honey. Oh, you want to look at here, huh? You got my foster. Look at here, darling. They call me the foreigner foster down there, honey. Stay checking for my age category, darling. Woo, hold on. I got too many things swinging, too many directions. <laughs> I got light-headed, sir, seeing stars everywhere all of a sudden. Okay, I'm doing better now, though. You know what I'm going to tell you, and I don't want to do this, trust me, but you're the life of the party. Oh, you really are. Look at you smiling from here to here, never getting out about a single thing. Hold on there, little woman snapper. Jeez Louise, lady, you pack a punch there. What did you just say? Well, I'm not, I'm not telling you, because you hit me. Okay. All I said was, you're the life of the party. Uh-huh. Okay? Smiling from here to here. Uh-huh. Never getting out about a single thing. Uh -huh. That's the that? one. What? Never getting out about a single thing. That's it. Never getting out about a single thing. That's it, right there. Uh, that's, what do you do? Do you know what that buzzer means? Tell me. Wrong answer! Wrong answer! Look at them when you do that. Wrong answer! That's what it means. It means to back it up. <laughs> Put your mind in rewind. <laughs> Y'all aren't helping a bit, you know that, right? Never even that about a single thing. Do you know why it means that? Why? Because I do get down. I'm not talking about your dancing. I Me mean, neither. I'm talking emotionally. Emotionally? Yes, my friend's been down all day today. How do you go from just cutting up and having a good time? I mean, in a matter of a snap of the finger, all of a sudden you're an emotional wreck. You're crying. Your bottom lips quivering uncontrollably. Okay, what is going on? It started early this morning. I was having coffee over at Bubba's. And, well, all of a sudden I realized I couldn't find my precious little dog noodles. Now, wait a second. Bubba said you and noodles are inseparable. Honey, I've had a long time and we are never apart. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far. Now, right now, let me ask you something. What? Is Noodles with you? No. No? So y'all aren't together right now. Noodles out there scared alone somewhere, ladies and gentlemen. We've got to help find Noodles. Don't you think I know that? What? what? Don't you think I know that? What? No what? That he's out there alone right now. Don't 